English can be a very confusing language, and the rules are endless. There are so many rules and different strange words because our language is a combination of many different languages, and it tends to change over time. So when writing, it can be frustrating trying to remember all of these rules and names of the things that we put into our sentences. However, I found the tw 20 most common errors in writing to be a great way to um, set your writing on a path that is productive. And I think that if you learn these rules and use these rules, it will really help you in your writing and your speaking. So the number one rule is a missing comma after an introductory element. Now these rules were put together by the everyday writer and I'll put a link to that on the Edmodo website. So, as a review, an introductory element adds meaning or understanding to an already complete sentence. That means it can be removed from the sentence and the sentence will still make sense, or you can move it from the beginning of the sentence to the end of the sentence and it still makes sense. A comma is needed after an introductory word. I usually avoid chores. I avoid chores is a complete sentence. Usually adds extra meaning, so we're going to need our comma right here. Now usually might mean I usually avoid chores, but sometimes I'll go ahead and do them. Now I put a little asterisk up here because it's not always required. A comma after a short introduction or just a word is not always required in writing. However, I want you to learn to put a comma there just so that you are in practice and you won't ever be wrong if you do put a comma in. A comma is also needed after a short introductory phrase. Instead of fruit, I chose to eat Pringles for a snack. I chose to eat Pringles for a snack is a complete sentence. So that means instead of fruit is an introductory clause or phrase, and you'll need a comma right here. So instead of fruit, comma, I chose to eat Pringles for a snack. And my final example is to be careful with long introductory elements. And here's an example. Because the weather forecast predicted 14 inches of snow, school was canceled for the day. Now, school was canceled for the day is a complete sentence. So we need a comma after snow. But this is a long introductory element, so you might be confused. However, school was canceled for the day is a complete sentence. That's an easy check to see what is an introductory element and what is a complete sentence.